Hello everybody. Uh, now we are going to start the um, derivation of the general energy balance equation for uh, open systems. Uh, before we start, there is a point that we need to uh, keep in mind that there is a very big difference between the energy, the 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 uh, open system and closed system, which is uh, we mentioned before that we the 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 uh, open system uh, there is a flow of mass in and out. In closed system, there is only for, uh, flow of energy. It can have flow of energy in and out, but there is no flow of mass. Um, so the the uh, the closed system, by definition, is a batch uh, is it's like a, it's like a batch system is uh, an unsteady state system. There is a change of energy with time. Uh, but for open systems, we 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 deal with the simple case. Of course, it can be an unsteady state system, but we deal with the simple case of uh, being a steady state system. So th this is something that we need to keep in mind. So when we uh, talk about the open system, let's take this uh, system that we see here as the, the our, our uh, control volume that we are doing our energy balance uh, on. And then we have streams going in and streams going out. We have um, mass flow rate and this mass is the uh, flow going in with its energy. So the mass is going in uh, as mass, and it's including energy that's going in in forms of uh, in form of internal energy, kinetic, and potential energy. So this is the energy going in. I'm not interested in the mass itself now. I'm interested in the energy. So I'm considering the energy included inside the stream going into the system. So this is the 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 energy that's going in and the same for the stream going out there is mass coming out with its energy as well so there is energy going in and energy going out uh, in forms or in form of um, um, internal kinetic and potential energy at the same time we have uh, the possibility of having heat and work uh, into the system or out of the system depending on the, 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 the sign. We will put the sign assuming it's positive which is uh, work done on the system and heat added to the system and uh, it's going to be general if it's uh, the opposite case then we put a negative sign. So these are the, the types of, um, of energy that we have in our control volume. So when we write the energy balance uh, equation uh, on the system, we will deal with the uh, the general energy balance equation for steady state, uh, where there is no accumulation. And also we said that in case of energy balance, the generation and consumption would be uh, would be the same. Uh, they will cancel each other. So we will have the energy in equals energy out. Um, so it's going to be simple. Uh, the energy in is the energy that uh, comes with the input stream including uh, in addition to the heat and the work and the energy out is the summation of energy out which are the three terms uh, so if we re rearrange this equation we can write the equation as the summation of energy out I'll just take this term and move it to the other side with a negative sign from here to there so it's going to be energy uh, of the output stream, the summation of energy of the output stream minus the summation of energy of the input stream equals Q plus work. And uh, we need to expand. So this is the equation. We need to uh, expand the terms. We need to uh, put it in more details. So the um, uh, and this term, e of course, is the total energy, which is the three guys that we have here. So we can expand some terms. We can uh, expand the energy, which is going to be the internal uh, kinetic and potential energies. We can also expand the uh, the term to be uh, in terms of the um, uh, the mass flow rate uh, and the specific uh, internal energy and mass flow rate multiplied by v square, mass flow rate multiplied by GZ. So this is for the the, the energy uh, term, and it can be written as mass multiplied by as a common factor multiplied by the three um, specific uh, energies. Um, so this is the uh, first term. The second term that we want to expand is the work, and this is what we discussed in the previous uh, couple of videos when we said that work has two forms. Now it is the uh, the the shaft work and the flow work. Um, and we said that the flow work can be expanded to be the P or the summation of PV of the input minus the summation of PV of the output streams. Um, so this is uh, this can be written in terms of the mass flow rate multiplied by P multiplied by V hat, which is the specific volume. 
um, and then we can uh, include everything in or, or substitute with this uh, form and this form into um, this equation so the rest is going to be just uh, mathematics uh, we are rearranging the equation so that we have uh, a more uh, more simplified form of the equation so this is the summation of energy output minus summation of energy input equals q plus this is all the work this is work shaft plus this is the work uh, the flow work and now we can uh, we can take common factors so this is the input stream this can be combined with this so it can go to the other side with a negative sign this can go to the other side with a positive sign um, so the equation would be as you see here it's u plus pv uh, of course u hat plus pv hat plus half u squared plus gz uh, for the output streams this is the same for input streams equals q plus shaft work um, and now we said before that the definition of, of uh, uh, enthalpy is the internal energy plus the uh, p multiplied by v so this these two terms can be combined to uh, to be the enthalpy so now the equation is uh, m multiplied by enthalpy uh, specific enthalpy plus half v square plus or u square plus gz for the output streams minus the same for input streams equals q plus work shaft this can be written in form these are the three terms here uh, as the three terms here and this is output minus input which is delta so i can uh, take the the, the the same two terms together so it's mh minus mh uh, mu square minus mu square mgz minus mgz and then we can write this in the form of uh, a more compact equation which is delta h which is this term plus delta kinetic energy which is this term plus delta potential energy which is this term equals q plus work shaft. This equation is the general equation that we use for energy balance uh, in case of open systems. And if you uh, if you notice, this is very, very, very similar to the equation that we have for closed systems. The differences are, are uh, just simple differences, but they're very important differences. So we need to, to, to pay attention what kind of system we are dealing with so that we use the proper equation. Um, so in closed system, we uh, we define the the energy of the, uh, in the, the of, of the system itself or the the, the, the energy stored in the system um, between the molecules and all these things in terms of the internal energy. Here we have it in terms of enthalpy. This is a very very main difference between those, uh, or this is the, the major difference between those two equations. That this is delta u. Here it's delta h. Still, I have kinetic potential energy in both cases. I have Q in both cases. I have work, uh, which is shaft work, by the way. So this is the same term here. Um, still, I can write all the equations in terms of the specific uh, specific parameters, which is totally fine. It's not changing anything. One thing that we would notice also is that we have here the dot um, the dot uh, symbol, uh, which we use for uh, flow rate. So uh, if I have uh, delta H dot, delta E dot, delta Q dot, W dot, it means that it is uh, joules per second, joules per hour, joules per minute. So it is uh, in in um, in energy, not in work. Uh, here it's just, uh, I mean, uh, energy per unit time, uh, which is power. Uh, here it is uh, work. So this is uh, this is a, a main difference. Sometimes in the, in the textbook they use this equation without uh, rates, uh, but I mean, I believe the rate is the more more uh, common case that we deal with. So I'd like to put it this way. So again, the the main difference that we need to notice between the two cases is the enthalpy and the internal energy. This is the the, the very very main thing. Uh, the the derivations that we made because I I, I got uh, many questions from students uh, got confused about this we usually don't use the relation of h plus pv when we use the equation um, we will see later how we can get the enthalpy how we can get the internal energy there are equations that we use the definition of enthalpy as h is u, as u plus pv is mainly for the sake of making this derivation um, so once the derivation is done we 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 barely uh, use that equation again. Uh, we, we directly go to this uh, this equation. Uh, so uh, next time, inshallah, we will do. I will solve a quick problem on this uh, this open system equation just to get more uh, used to it. And later, we inshallah, and this is gonna be the end of chapter seven. And next, we would go to chapter uh, eight, where we are going to. 
no, it's not chapter eight. We're still in chapter seven. I'm sorry. We're going to talk about the uh, the uh, uh, getting the values of h and u, uh, which is a very very important thing. So I'll see you later, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.